guys, welcome back. It's Elena with Bear and Mind Planner Company, and today I wanted to uh, show you how to make uh, washi tape using Procreate. We can do this in a couple different ways. We can have a straight edge, and we can also have uh, kind of like a ripped tape effect. And so I'm going to show you both of those. So let's get started. I have my 3000 by 3000 pixels with 300 dpi uh, for my canvas and what I'm going to do is hide this layer. This is an example of what we're going to make and you can see the edges on that one is jagged or you can do a solid. Uh, so I'm going to add in another layer and I'm going to hide this one and uh, let's Let's pick this color here. This is just a palette I had going on. And I want to go under calligraphy. And I want my monoline brush. And I have my brush at about 5%. We can move that up a little bit. Let's go eight. <clears throat> and I'm gonna just draw a straight line, tap, and so go back over here to my brush. And just depending on how wide you wanna make this, now having a 3000 by 3000 pixel, this is a very large image to begin with. And the reason I work with such large images is because when you um, scale them down or even blow them up, uh, they're gonna have really good quality. So. I like to make things big and then that way, uh, however I use it, whether it's across an entire page or, you know, just a little section, it's all going to be, um, be a very high quality. All right. So I've made all my edges there and I'm just going to, I'm using the monoline, um, brush for my eraser as well. And you can clean up the edges if you want to, if you're going to have your straight edges on your washi tape. And if you're planning on erasing the edge so it looks like uh, you know, a, a, a tape edge that you pulled off, um, then it doesn't matter at all. And I'm just going to grab my color, hold it, and drop it. And now we want to make this more than just a solid color. And this is where we're gonna get into masking. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this in the past or not. It, anyway, we're gonna get into masking. And so I'm gonna take another color. I'm gonna take this darker um, sea foam color and I'm gonna go to my brushes. And here is where you get to have some fun. Now this is uh, these are brushes that are already pre-installed into your Procreate app. So whereas, you know, we can have a lot of fun with all of these different textures. We can even do some abstract. Um, those are the charcoals. We can go into elements. There's so many things that we can play with. And so today let's, here I'll just do, we'll start with some textures in this diagonal. This is what I showed in the purple washi tape. And so I've created my uh, a, a layer on top of that first one and I have a darker color set. And now there's my diagonal. How cute is that? And so once I have that layer with my diagonals, I'm going to click on it and come down here to clipping mask. And there we go, we have our pattern tape. Selected, I want to make sure that I merge these two layers or else I would just be working on one layer when I do my erasing and so um, merge down and now our two layers have become one so now when I use my eraser tool it's going to erase both of those and now I have a jagged line now I'm lifting my pin and coming in again so that way I get a 
full coverage and still have the effect on the edge of my of my washi tape. And so you can even come in and kind of do it a little sideways because, I mean, who's to say the tape came off of the dispenser perfect? <clears throat> All right, so what I want to do is I want to share this and keep that open. And you can pull good notes over here to the side. And I'm going to grab a sticker book and find a blank page. Now I can, whoops, hold on my layer and drag it over. And I can even do it to this one. Let's do this one. And now I have two washi tapes. And now I'm gonna select this item and crop it right now. That way it's in my sticker book, ready to use anytime I want, and it's cropped. Make your life easier when you bring stuff in to just quickly drop it in. Make sure you crop everything. <laughs> there we go. What's fun too is by having this um, photo um, icon selected, you can have that tapped on and you can make this skinnier or wider or longer. Um, just because you know you made it bigger doesn't mean you can't mess with the, um, the ratio of that image. So that's another fun thing to play with. I want to show you one more thing. And this is, here we'll use, we'll use this one. I didn't really like that one anyways. Um, clear. And turn that one off. And so this, I'm just gonna use black. And I'm gonna go and grab a mono line. And Now I want to remind you of something. This is a good uh, learning moment. After I erase that little dot there. But do you see how those lines aren't connected? If I grab and drop my color, it's going to flood the whole page. And that's because there was no stopping point for the color to end at. So I'm gonna make sure I close those ends. So if that happens to you and you're like, why is that happening? Why am I filling up my whole page? Shouldn't be doing that. You wanna look around and see if there's a spot where it's open. So now that I close those, I can drop and fill my color. And this time I'm going to, instead of uh, using um, any of the, the brush library, I'm actually going to go over here to um, Google and what I've done is I just typed in color, uh, pattern colorful and all of these came up. Now remember there are lots of licensing um, technicalities that come with just pulling something off of the internet so please make sure that you are reading those license agreements first and foremost and following them. But if you're using this for personal use in your own planner, then go ahead. Uh, no one's gonna stop you do from doing that. I like another good place is Pixabay. Um, I would still do, if you're gonna use Pixabay commercially, I would still do like a reverse lookup on Google to see whose art it is and see what their 
um, licensing is just because sometimes things show up on websites um, especially a big website like this um, that shouldn't be there and should you know you should still check your stuff out but again if you're using this for personal use Pixabay is a really great place and all I did was put in summer background and oh my gosh that's so cute See this person what I like is you can go to that artist and a lot of times you can tell if they are using a lot of the same style or what have you see th these are totally cute these would be beautiful washi tapes I'm gonna use this one I actually really like that color palette and up here you can download it and you can pick your size. I'm gonna go the biggest that it allows me. And I'm just gonna save the image into my camera roll. That is so cute. Oh, I'm so glad I found that. And go back over here to Procreate. And so what we're going to do now is, uh, actually we don't have to create a new layer. You can just um, add, we're at the wrench tool, I hit add. And now we are going to um, insert a photo since I saved it to my camera roll. And there it is. And so see, as you can see, it added it onto its own layer already. So that's why I didn't add another layer. So I'm gonna hit that arrow there so that way I can position this. And I can make this larger or smaller however I want to fit that. Let's see what happens when we do free form, if it's gonna distort it too bad. That's, that's not bad at all. And so I just wanna make sure I'm covering my entire image on layer three right there. And so I'm gonna take this uh, inserted photo and I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to do another clipping mask and just like that, I have the most adorable washi tape in the whole wide world. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use that. I might do those colors next week. So yeah, let's put that one over in my good notes. Whoops. <clears throat> Share my screen. Merge these down. And that one I left solid on the edges, which is fine. However you want to do your washi tape, totally up to you. Cropping my image, and there we go. In a short time, I was able to show you how to make three washi tapes. And uh, if you weren't talking all the time like I was, you could have had maybe six done by now or 10, I don't know. Okay guys, if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have suggestions, please leave your comments down below. I love reading all of your comments and I appreciate the outreach from quite a few people. Yeah, YouTube is, is uh, a pretty good community is what I'm finding and I'm just really excited about that so um, again thanks for watching subscribe make sure you hit subscribe hit the bell notification and give it a thumbs up all right we'll see you next time guys